Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. All right. Oh, that's good. Hey, did anybody see the uh, the the Star of Bethlehem? I guess that's what they're calling it. Uh, last night, I missed it. So, hey, if you got some pictures, post it uh, post it in the comments down the, down below. Oh, my goodness, that was good. Uh, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, okay, today is the 22nd. My goodness, Christmas is coming quickly. Uh, Tuesday's reading, I click on that and go there. And it takes me to the site. All right. Um, uh, a little bit of a repeat from yesterday, but that's how... The, the Revised Common Lectionary works. Um, so the first reading, we're in the Gospel of Luke, verses uh, chapter 1, verses 46 through 55. It's the Magnificat. And uh, leading up to Christmas, this is... So here we go. Uh, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. Oh, what's this? Okay. And Mary said... My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his offspring. All right. Oh, and we're going back to the Old Testament now. We're in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 19 through 28. And they rose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord. Then they went back to their house at Ramah, and Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. And in due time... Hannah conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Samuel, for she said, I have asked for him from the Lord. The man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice and to pay his vow. But Hannah did not go up, for she said to her husband, As soon as the child is weaned, I will bring him so that he may appear in the presence of the Lord and dwell there forever. Elkanah knew her husband said to her, Do what seems Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Do what seems best to you. Wait until you have weaned him. Only may the Lord establish his word. So the woman remained and nursed her son until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her, along with a three year old bull an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and she brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh, and the child was young. <coughs> then they slaughtered a bull, and they brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh, my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who was standing here in your presence praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition that I made to him. Therefore, I have, I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is lent to the Lord. And he worshipped the Lord there. Amen. Oh. All right, now we're going to uh, Hebrews chapter 8. Doesn't say verses, must be the whole chapter. Yep, yeah, looks like it. All right, here we go. Hebrews chapter 8. Now the point in what we are saying is this. 
We have such a high priest, one who was seated at the right hand of the throne of, throne of majesty in heaven, a minister in the holy places, in the true tent that the Lord set up, not man. For every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Thus it is necessary for the priest also to have something to offer. Now, if he were on earth, he would not be a priest at all, since the, there are priests who offer gifts according to the law. They serve a copy and a shadow of the heavenly things. For when Moses, Moses was about to erect the tent, he was instructed by God, saying, See that you make everything according to the pattern that was shown you on the mountain. But, but as it is, Christ have, has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, there would, there would have been no occasion to look for a second. <clears throat> for he finds fault with them when he says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not like the covenant that I made with their fathers on the day when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. For they did not continue in my covenant, and, and so I showed no concern for them, declares the Lord. Excuse me. <laughs> for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, declares the Lord, I will put my law in their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall not teach uh, each one his neighbor and each one his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For they shall all know me, for the least of them to the greatest. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. In speaking of a new covenant, he makes the first one obsolete, and what is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to vanish away. And this is the word of the Lord. Let me go to the Pray Now app and we'll read the prayer of the day. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you have given exceedingly great and precious promises to those who trust in you. Grant us so firmly to believe in your Son, Jesus, that our faith may never be found wanting. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, once again, it is an absolute pleasure to get up and do this every morning. I, I, I look forward to it every day. Uh, so, thank you again for all of the, the compliments that I get uh, every now and then. It's, it's greatly appreciated. Um, I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And, uh, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So with that, I'm going to sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we will see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. Bye-bye. God bless.